Hello and welcome back to the Uncle No Identity YouTube channel. It's been five or six weeks, I think, since I've last uploaded a video. And I decided to come back and make another video about the duster. Alright, so let's get started and let me show you what we're dealing with with the duster. So, we got the box. And we're going to scoot this out the way. So finally did a little bit more work to the car. Here it is. It don't look like I've done much, but I did do a little something down here. I finally installed the exhaust system. And the problem I've noticed, and it's not really like an AMT's fault, it's kind of just in general, is, of course, right about, you can see right there, uh, the exhaust does not made up properly. I'm not exactly sure if that's my fault for improperly gluing the manifold or what it is, but with most of the kits I build, uh, right here, the passenger side one meets kind of well, but the driver's side's not even connected. That doesn't really bother me that much, but it's just something I noticed. The exhaust pipe stops here because the the chrome plated exhaust tip will literally go from there all the way back. It's quite a long tip. Got a little bit of the blue paint chipped away. I got my fuel fuel line here. Terribly out of scale. Blue racing or the seats with blue inserts. Still need to put the steering wheel in there. It's got a Hurst T shifter, T handle. My horribly out of scaled uh, ignition uh, spark plug wires. And I'm gonna open the box and show you some other things I've done to the car. So. I don't really know if I showed the body yet, but the f one of the reasons why it took me a while to get this video out is because the front of this thing looks amazing. I like the way I've done the weathering, but like right here on back is kind of, I wasn't really sure what I was doing, and I, I didn't really like it. I repainted the trunk lid so there's only like rust and damage marks around the edges I don't know how you weather a vinyl top so if anyone can give me ideas on how to do that though it looks kinda grayed I guess what that's what it does it just grays out and stuff right I don't know yeah but like this side especially I just I didn't really like the weathering and so I stopped working on it and I tried searching up other like wrecked car images but I just didn't like the way they looked didn't really suit the image that I was trying to go for with it so I just put it on the side and decided to wait on that uh, got the hood decided to repaint some of the hood some spots I guess stayed and everything else kind of went weathered away. The underside's not bad, just a bit of dark gray to uh, some grayish colors to accent, if you will. I think I put a little bit of a black wash around some of the areas. It doesn't look like it's picking up. I'll have to do it again then, because yeah, the hood's aluminum painted and then blue over top so you get to see the a much lighter shade. Uh, what else? 
I did a wheel. Here's my wheel. D. It's kind of moves around a bit too much, I think. But I mean, once you glue it all together, it shouldn't be a problem. I want to try doing brake hosing. So I have to glue this white piece onto this. It says not to glue it in the instructions, but because I want to do brake hosing, I'm going to have to glue that in place. I'll obviously have to get some sandpaper and sand this down. I got three more wheels I have to work on. This is the only one I've worked on so far. This is a wheel and tire from two different kits. <clears throat> I don't know if I showed this yet, but the story with this car would be it was going to get upgraded to a drag car and so we purchased some wheels and tires but the owner kind of gave up and didn't really like the idea of big tubbed out wheel wells for these big tires so he kept the tires with the car but kind of threw it all away the car sat in the garage and these kind of sat there with it got them painted blue to match the car and now they're all they're rusted away so there's that these aren't going on the car again they're just sitting there I'm gonna use all four of the factory wheels um, got the in this bag air cleaner the three other wheels the other valve cover and this is the steering arm that goes to the steering wheel got to glue that in place <clears throat> so yeah that's what I've gotten to so far here's the These are my suspension pieces. <clears throat> I painted uh, Vallejo Chrome with honey yellow coil, or not coils, but cover pieces. The exteriors, whatever they're called. Painted them yellow so they could stand out. And, uh, hang on. Some time ago I glued this together. It's the eight and three quarters rear end with the leaf springs. I just glued the springs onto that and then placed that on the car to make sure these were in place properly. And then I was able to pull them off. That way I can get the other pieces of the exhaust to go in properly. So I just put the springs in just to measure them up but only glued it to the axle and of course as you can see I still have to paint the axle I started with this like dark gray paint scheme on the the springs but I might change that color I don't know so that's that um <clears throat> While I was away, I bought a model airplane to work on to sort of clear my mind of this car until I could get more time to think about it. And I might do a video on that airplane for next Sunday. I bought me another model car, but I won't get into discussion with that. That'll come sometime later. I'm gonna try to get myself back on a schedule here. And hopefully I can get some more videos out there. Because, you know, I've been slacking for like, what, four or five weeks now. And it's all because this one car is giving me problems. So I was like, well, I'm just not going to do a video until I can figure this out. So I'm figuring things out now. 
I still have to put the decals on the side, on this side. I accidentally put the duster logo here. But they came with two of these, so we'll have to put the black stripes over that. And then put that back on there. Yeah. This is the black and blue Plymouth duster. So, uh... Yeah, that's what I got so far. It's just supposed to look like a beater, but at the same time, like a, a track car. Not a track car, but like a drag car. But it's supposed to look badly beaten up and stuff. So yeah, that uh, wraps up this video, I guess, and uh, yeah, that wraps up this video, I'll uh, probably talk about that other kid I was talking about in uh, later videos, and until then, I'll see you in the next one guys, this is Uncle No Identity, and I'm finally making another video after about four, five, six-ish weeks now. We're getting there. We're, we're making progress. Yeah, stay tuned because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get another video out there next Sunday. Not guaranteed, but we can hope. We can hope. All right. Uncle No Identity, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.